Hugh Jackman's final Wolverine outing Logan arrived to a ton of critical acclaim. But in addition to being a great film, it also ushers in some huge changes for the X-Men franchise. From bidding farewell to a few of the franchise's biggest stars to showing us essentially how the X-Men come to an end, Logan is a game-changer. Here's why Logan marks the end of an era for superhero films. The old X-Men movies are over. Since debuting on the silver screen in 2000, the original X-Men cast has popped up in pretty much every era of the franchise ever since. They anchored the original trilogy, returned for the future part of Days of Future Past, and had cameos everywhere in between. Now we have Jackman's Logan and Patrick Stewart's Xavier back to wrap it all up here. And that's what this film does. It serves as a coda for that era of the franchise. As 20th Century Fox looks to keep the focus on its younger lineup of stars with the eventual sequel to X-Men Apocalypse, this is the bookend for the stories that started it all. Jackman and Stewart are ex-X-Men. There's one thing that ties pretty much the entire X-Men franchise together regardless of era, and that's Jackman. Thanks to the fact that Wolverine doesn't age, and apparently neither does Jackman. Seriously, look at this guy! Anyway, he's popped up in pretty much every X-Men film except for Deadpool. And even in that movie, his face still put in an appearance. At this point, it's almost not an X-Men movie without Wolverine. But all that ends with Logan. Jackman said, It is my last time. It just felt like it was the right time to do it. So, yeah, that's pretty clear. While the franchise has found success with younger actors and new characters like Deadpool, losing Jackman means the future of the X-Men story has never been less clear. Along with Jackman, the original Professor Xavier, the guy who started the X-Men in the first place, is also calling it quits. Stewart is one of the most recognizable actors in association with this franchise, and he says he's retiring too. James McAvoy has done a solid job of taking up Stewart's mantle as young Xavier in the prequel films, but for a certain generation of fans, Stewart will always be Professor X. It's the final Wolverine solo film. The Wolverine spin-off franchise started out on a rough note with X-Men Origins Wolverine, which was pretty much a train wreck. But things got on the right path with the samurai-tinged The Wolverine, which helped properly set the stage for Logan. But Logan marks the end of the Wolverine trilogy. That's not to say Fox won't eventually recast the role at some point, but it's still the end of an era for Jackman's defining take on the character. It pushes the limits. The rave reviews all make one thing clear when it comes to Logan. It's a fantastic movie, and that isn't being graded on a curve against the adjusted scale of comic book movies. Logan is a brutal, beautiful personal journey that doesn't try to set world-ending stakes. This is a small story that shows the near-limitless potential for what can be done within the format of a superhero movie. Logan is ambitious in its simplicity, weaving in elements from two decades of films to tell a story about a handful of people just trying to do what's right. It's further proof superhero movies can just be movies, and good ones to boot. What comes next? Logan wraps up the old saga of X-Men movies, but also sets the stage for whatever Fox wants to do next. Is it another future set story after Logan? A 1990s set film following the younger cast? A new series of solo films? No one knows just yet, but thankfully Logan also blows the doors open in regards to what you can accomplish and the types of stories you can tell with the X-Men. The possibilities are limitless for Fox to do some truly creative things with the franchise. We can't wait to see what comes next. Thanks for watching! Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!